Hello everyone. When you have a new idea for a product store or service, one of the first things you should do is come up with a business name. In today's video, I'm going to help you create your new business name. Hello everyone, my name is Mariah. I am a fellow small business owner and on this channel I like to share with you business tips, give you guys business advice, and new grant opportunities. If that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my new content. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing that you'll need to do is start brainstorming names and pick out a few that you like. But first, here are some questions that you should ask yourself to help you narrow down a few of those names. How does the name compare to your competitors? Does your chosen industry favor certain naming conventions? Will the name be recognizable to most shoppers? And does the name make sense? Now for this question, you should reach out to your family and friends and see what they think about the names that you have chosen. Next, focus on doing a word dump. Start by jotting down all of the relevant words in your brand and industry, but don't overanalyze. Set a timer between 10 to 30 minutes and write as many descriptive words that describe your business or service. Next, you should use a thesaurus. One of my favorite sites to use is thesaurus.com. This is thesaurus.com. So let's say, for example, you're starting a t-shirt company and some relevant words in a t-shirt company might be designing. So we'll put in design. And here's a few synonyms for designing. So for example, you could put the blueprint t-shirt company or the method t-shirt company. If you would like to find some thesaurus for your words, then I recommend using this website right here. Now the next task is to review the words you generated from the word dump. After you find some thesauruses, you'll want to write some of those words down because it's not a bad idea to expand your list just in case some of the words that you want to use is already taken. Now you'll start to cross out the names that aren't relevant for your business. Another way to create business names is using a name generator. What a name generator does is basically suggest potential business names using keywords. Some platforms also check for domain availability, which is going to be really important when starting your business. Here's a list of business name generators. Businessnamegenerator.com, Namelix, and WordOd. Next, after doing your word dump and generating names, it's time to start narrowing down your choices. Cross out the names that sound too similar to other businesses. A, this could be a good thing as other people might recognize the other business name and just check out your website. Or B, it could be horrible and you could possibly get sued for your business name being too similar to another business name. Choose a business name that reflects your brand's identity and makes your core customers feel like they came to the right business for their needs. Here are some final questions to ask yourself about your new business name. Does the name convey a meaning? Is the name easy to remember? Is the name easy to spell? And does the name look appealing? After you have done that in-depth process into finding your business name, congratulations, you are done. Now that you created your business name, it's time to structure it. Not a lot of people think how tedious it is and important it is to make sure that your business name stands out, is legal and structured correctly before you start your business or start to market your business is to sit down, do market research on that business name and make sure that in the future, when you make tons of money through your business, you can easily go get a trademark. The best part of creating your unique business name is being the inspiration behind the name. I suggest that you check and make sure that it's not trademark. You can do this by yourself. You can use another platform to do this as well. One that I highly recommend is Inkfile. Inkfile can help you with your trademark research and you can also structure your business through Inkfile whenever you get a chance to. That means creating your LLC. And of course after that you have to secure your domain. So reference back to the website I shared with you if you want to check and see if that domain is available. So if you would like to check out Inkfile and make sure that your name is not already Already trademarked. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box. Now I hope that I have helped you start the process in picking the perfect name for your new business. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this topic, make sure you comment them down below. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you give me a like and also check out this cool video right here on how you can start a website for free. Now for more, make sure you subscribe.